Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Master Nightfall ordeal, which is Insight Terminus, which actually is dropping the palindrome this week. I'm doing it on Voidwalker, Talk Tree, obviously for the grenades and the super, Seventh Surf for Unstoppable, the Adored for Barrier. I've also got the Lament for Barrier, and as you can see, I've got Passive Guard on. I'm running a War Main Cell build. Lucent Blade is on there, but more so so that I can get the secondary part where I can charge the heavy attack more. And I'm running a, a few War Mind mods, Global Reach, Wrath of Rasputin, Rage of the War Mind, and Fire Team Medic. And that's basically what I'm running here. Now, when you, the amount of time this is going to take you to get to the boss, it's kind of a rule of thumb. However long it takes you to get to the boss is roughly how long it's going to take you to do the boss. If you're being kind of uh, blase about it a little bit, over the top a little bit taking too many risks at the boss then you can do it faster but it's it's not as repeatable if you understand what i mean so the other kind of thing is you, i'm going to be taking out 20 champions here so the majority of them are going to be well it's, it's actually almost an even spread you don't have to take out that many uh, you can basically drop four unstoppables from your run now the reason I took out so many is because I wanted to see how much score you could actually get here. And I think we ended up with about 240,000 or something, so that's not too bad. Now, with with the barriers, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing a mixture of sniping and swording the barriers. Now, with the sniper, got four in the mag because I'm using the adored. Uh, make sure you've got Vorpal weapon on the adored. Triple tap and Vorpal is good. What I'm doing with, with the sniper is three shots... I'm doing three shots. I'm keeping one in reserve to make sure I don't have to reload if I need to take a barrier back down. So I'm kind of doing three shots and then most of the time I'll be doing three shots and then holding off on that fourth one just to get the barrier break. The other thing you'll notice a few times in this run is the lament charge. There'll be sometimes it'll just look like I'm just standing there and not doing anything with the sword. It's because the lament charge wouldn't wouldn't consistently work for me. Yesterday, yesterday. So so on day of putting this up, this is Wednesday. Uh, I'd done this on, oh, actually on reset, I'd done this on the Tuesday, and it just, the game really felt weird on Tuesday, and you see there, I'm not getting the, the all the time I'm not getting the same amount of, the way I use my lament is normally four small hits and a big hit, or three small hits and a big hit, and sometimes the big hit wasn't registering, sometimes it wouldn't actually give me the third light attack, so look, look, that's just to give you guys an idea of of, of what's what's on with the run i did get a palindrome because we're doing it on master so the drop rate's like 70 80 percent on master with a platinum that's all champions defeated uh and, and and as i said i took 20 champions out you guys only have to take 16 and you'll still get the platinum now the hardest part about this really the the real big sticking point on this run is at the boss now you will take some damage on the way to the boss there is you know there's no perfect way to do this you will there, there's different weapons you can use there's different strategies but one thing that is a constant the boss because void damage is accentuated so so you take more void damage and environmental damage is increased because of those things the boss's three prong attack it's very similar to just normal scions, that void, they send out a void wave with a, a thing at the end that blasts you up in the air. Well, that the flames that are in the trail of that, that's an insta-kill from the boss. So be very careful at the boss. You'll see, I, I kind of do take my time at the boss. We had a lot of score, never going to run out of score. It's, it wasn't an issue because of how much we gathered. But just be very, very careful at the boss. The sword is predominantly for getting to the boss. Now, I do do some sword damage on the boss, and I will talk you guys through how I've done it and what's the best way to attack the boss with the sword. But it was more so as like a, a heavy-duty personal defense weapon because it's really difficult to capture the plates because the adds are so aggressive at the boss. So, as you can see, nearly everything I've done so far is, is there's no explanation needed. You take the barrier from range, create a war mind cell, clear the majority of the ads, and then make sure the ads are clear, uh, or as clear as possible. Don't jump over when there's still tons of ads, because the heat, heat you're going to take is, is extreme. 
And then when you get here, don't go on the plate while whilst the boss is there. Entice his kind of ground pound. And then the, as soon as he does his ground pound, you can get on the plate. Now, this is the part you do not need to do exactly what I've done. So there's six waves here. Three waves of those, this, what, what you just seen on the screen with the two gladiators and the dogs. And three waves of double unstoppables. You do not need to take the double unstoppables. You only need to take, so you, as you can see here, you, that's what I was talking about, about standing there looking like I'm not doing anything. It just wouldn't charge my lament shot. Uh, you do not need to do what I'm doing here. You can just capture the plate, take the ads and capture the plate. I get off the plate each time to kind of slow down the charge rate of the plate so I can take all the all the champions. I'm sniping these, these guys here, not to kill them, but to stun them long enough to keep them in the grenade because obviously we've got Controverse on. So Controverse increases the the recharge rate of your grenades and I, I have noticed through all the time I've been using them that the more time an ad spends in the grenade the faster the recharge rate so as you can see again struggling to get the, the big attack but it kind of worked out well because I st got both both the champions stunned and the big sword attack killed them both which I, I, I have I have actually never seen that before I'm waiting for my grenade before I go back home and we've got one more wave of gladiators and one more wave of unstoppables. And as I say, you could have been gone after the first two waves if you'd have stayed on the plate. Uh, so this run isn't about speed. Because, I'll, I'll tell, I'll, listen, I've got to tell you, th th this isn't an easy master. Uh, the boss battle, in essence, once you get past the plate section, the boss battle is actually not difficult. Because there is a, a accepted way to do it. As you can see there, just just really weird yesterday. It was it was a real strange thing. I'll stop both these champions. I'll stop him. I'll do a finisher on him. Luck he gave me heavy. And then I'll just I'll just finish this other champion off. I could have knocked a considerable amount of time off this run if I'd have been maybe a little bit more aggressive. But Anybody that knows my runs know it's about repeatability. It's not about taking chances, although I, I, I am going to get hit a few times here. But it's not about taking chances. It's about if you do this every time, this is going to work every time. So, as you can see, we're seven minutes in and we've basically got the 100k. So your pinnacle is safe if you do it like this. The pinnacle is safe. So when we get into this next area, this is this is kind of... This is almost, I would, I would probably say that the, the, this is where the bulk of your enemies are going to be. Uh, I do get caught out once because the spawn changed. But obviously the reason why we do this is, the reason why I commentate these runs is not just to tell you what I'm doing and what's going on on the screen, but also to give you some advice of what not to do. Again, lots of kind of weird things happening. Just a really weird day on Destiny yesterday. Uh... Now, you're, when you come in here, you're going to have a bunch of just normal Cabal, Centurions, uh, but you're also you're also going to have a Barrier Champion. Now, most of the time, the Barrier Champion will spawn down with the adds down to your left. I thought he was there, so I threw my Nova. I didn't mind burning the Nova. And as you can see, he is not there. He was up in the center, which is where he always used to be. So, we're just going to take him out with a snipe. And as I say, a couple of shots. And then your fourth one should break the shield. If you feel like you can kill him with your normal snipes, if you stun him like that and you're, he's got very little health left, just don't worry about breaking his shield again. Just kill him. Now, once you've cleared this area of its initial ads, to get the, way, the, the area started proper, you have to push up towards the back of the room. Uh, and, and, and and I always go to the same place. I always go up this, this side and I jump over onto this ridge over here and that starts the encounter, this ridge over here. Now, the portals, we've just we've just went past some portals on the left-hand side as we're looking now. Going to get waves of ads here. Normally, you'll get the barrier champion out of this first portal. So what we're going to do is charge a grenade, put it down, and then try and take this barrier straight away. Now... 
I've said normally. Because the game, this, that's where I get caught out on the next wave. The, the barrier never came from there, it came from the next portal down. So it's not, it's not an exact science that that's where he's going to come every time. You also have an unstoppable here, so just be careful when you're pushing into the center, if you do push into the center at all. I'm trying at the moment, the reason why I was like using my uh, my uh, Seventh Seraph uh, was to try and create a war main cell. So you can, now we've got a bunch of snipers on this side. Got to be careful. Be careful of those void streams. Now you'll see, I actually do go through one of the void streams down here at, at one point during this, Not maybe not this damage section, but the next one. And I don't take nearly as much heat as I do at the boss. So obviously the boss does more damage. So I think all I've got left is a couple of these adds and the unstoppable. Now I think I've got backup mag on my 7th Seraph and that's so that instead of having, I think I had 11 rounds in there before and now I've got 15. You on the other hand if you have, if you're comfortable with the, your ammo reserves, then what you can do is uh, put on major spec or minor spec, something to give you a bit more of a damage boost. So now we ran around here, but unfortunately he'd already seen us, so he was pushing around to meet us. I was waiting for him to jump up because, again, swords can do that weird thing if you're slightly above the add. Uh, it can do this weird thing where it doesn't give you a heavy attack. Now we've picked up the orb, the, the unstoppable always drops this orb. So there's an unstoppable on e in each wave, but the next wave I think we've got a lot more barriers. So I'm going to toss the, my grenade over, I can see one of the barriers, but normally in these sections there's two. And I was confused for a second because normally the other barrier pushes down quite low. So because I've got a sniper, high damage. Uh, now as I said to start with about breaking the shield, uh, because I the first shot broke the shield, I knew you wouldn't get another shield before I could reload. So now I'm just decided, drop the orb there and I'll just take him out with the sword. There we go. And that's the way the lament should work. Three light attacks and one heavy attack should kill a champion. You will see during this section in, in the centre here, that was not the case because... The lament was just got a mind of its own. So I was expecting the barrier to come out here. So I'm, I'm back. I'm ready. Threw my grenade. No barrier. So I thought, right, okay, I'll just clear up some of the ads here. And the barrier, you see there, I'm hitting me. The barrier came from below. I, if I'd have landed, there's no there's no doubt in my mind. If I'd have landed in, in the, the Vex milk, the Radiolarian, I would have been dead. So just be very careful. You've got, I've put my rift down here, you've got two barriers and you've got an unstoppable in this area right now, in the area proper, right? You are going to get something else. You are going to get more of these. Uh, you are going to get more uh, champions, but this is what you, when, when that wave spawns in, you get two barriers and an unstoppable. The minute you clear this wave, and then you pick the orb up, you're going to get a barrier that's going to spawn over over here, over this side, in the center. And then you're going to get uh, barriers over by where you would where you would slam. You're going to get two barriers. So in this next wave, all in, you've got... You see me going through it there? Luckily, there was an ad there. Because there was an ad there, Passive Guard saved me. So really, the only places I really get into trouble is, is kind of here because, and, and and I've got all the protection you can have. The only other one I could possibly have, because I've got solar damage resist on my chest plate, I could have went with arc or void. And as you can see there, I got contact in Destiny servers. It was something that was happening intermittently, although it was just such such a strange such a strange day on Destiny yesterday. I don't know what they were doing with the servers. But it was nothing to do with my connection because out with the game, I could do everything else I normally would do. There was nothing wrong with my connection. I kept testing it. It's definitely a problem with Destiny yesterday. I had friends who were playing Crucible yesterday, although Crucible is a nightmare at the moment anyway. Regardless of connection, a movement-based game that brings a subclass in that stops you from moving is not fun. 
and like everything else in Destiny, there will always be people who will be looking to capitalize on on stuff like that. Anyway, enough of that. It was just a weird day. So, uh, as you can see, what I'd done there was I used my grenade. Uh, I used my grenade to kind of clear these ads down here. And then I decided... I did take a chance with that barrier, but I, I, it was a calculated chance. I broke the shield, and I knew that passive guard and the sword would help me kill him. Uh, kill the champion very easily. Before I got into any trouble, because passive guard, obviously, I'll be close to an enemy. I'm going to be really tanky with it. Now we're going to get a champion spawn right here, because I've just went past them. So we're we'll just chuck Again, just not giving me my, 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 sh my shots. And then we've cleared the enemy. Just not giving me the light attack. So what I do is I come back here. Charge a grenade. Got ads coming. So I take him out and then put the rift down. Now they are going to push me. So I decided it was worthwhile not taking the chance. Just clear out some of these ads with swords. Passive guard would help me tank their shots. Because they'd obviously have to come to me for the majority of the time. And sort of... Sort of one hit the the lesser ads, the the elite ads. It's a two hit. So as you can see, I'm I'm still committed to, to not just burning burning uh, sword ammo. And we've got more sword ammo there, so that takes me back up to thirty odd shots. So now what we've got, we've got that orb. The orb will not disappear if you put it down. So don't worry about actually dropping it and then going picking it back up. Now we've got two barriers and some ads, and then basically we're at the boss. So as I say, if I hadn't have took all the champions down, and if things things would have worked differently here, I could probably shaved close to five minutes off this time. I could have shaved time off at the boss as well, but it's luck of the draw with how the ads behave. The, it seemed to me as if the ads were a ton more aggressive here than, than I'm used to. But maybe it's just because I haven't done this strike in quite some time. So we know we've got some gladiators over there. We know we've got some normal cabal. But we know we only took one barrier out here. We know there's a second barrier. And there he is over there. I'll just throw a grenade in that direction. That entices the ads to come to me. I'll put my rift down. Just see if we can take anybody. And I just go up here with the sword. Sometimes, although I'm not, I'm not saying that anybody should just, you know, just burn all your sword ammo. But sometimes you do have to just use some sword. So now charge, and then I can finish him. Now I knew I had a brick of heavy over the other side. So we'll go and pick that up, and we're back up to 45 sword. Just picking up some special, any other ammo I can see. Make sure I've got as much heavy when I get to the boss because that, as I say, the sword was was built was 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 for the was with the boss in mind for for controlling the ads. Maybe not boss damage, but just controlling the ads. So once you slam that in, you're going to get this kind of uh, wave of uh, affected vex, kind of crazy headless vex. Easy, easy work. And it's 18 minutes. We're a little bit faster at the boss than... Because than, we're not at the boss yet. Normally it's the same amount of time to do the boss as it is to get there. So it was... As I say, we should have been at the boss by about 14 minutes. That's how long we should have took us to get to the boss. But because I messed about with waves and stuff, a bit longer to get to the boss. So this, ideally... If I'd have done it... The, you know, without taking all the champions and, you know, being a little bit more efficient. This probably would have been about a 28, 28 to 30 minute run. You know, but because I, I decided to go for the high score, see how much score I could get. It obviously was a little bit longer. Now, the problem we're going to have at the boss, problem that you guys might face, if you're going in with the fire team and you're not going to face it at all. But the problem most people are going to face at the boss if they're doing it solo is controlling the ads. You are going to get hit. There's just no way, there's no getting away from it. Up until you capture the three plates. Which once you capture the three plates that 
<laughs> it's not going to make a lot of sense until you see it. That you're in the most danger and you're, you're at your safest. I know. So, 19 minutes to get here wasn't quite as long uh, as 19 minutes to clear this area, but it still was about 17 minutes. Uh, and you'll see there was a lot of it that was just, the ads were just, I was just getting swarmed all the time. So, take those two there, we're going to get some dogs. Should have put a rift down here, my mistake. Rift down now. And if push comes to shove, I can just bring my sword out. I don't want to have to get off this first plate. And there's the boss. Captured the first plate. Now, this is your safe point while the boss is out. This is your safe point here. Now, this is time, you know, this is going to take a bit more time doing it, but you'll see those shots the boss is firing over. Those void lines, those tracks... They are insta-kills. If you land on them, it's over. So basically, what I plan on doing is this. You see, I'm taking out a heap of the ads. The minute the minute I feel like it's just me and the boss, I'm going to attack the boss with the sword. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm trying to get a war mine cell. Just be careful for those void attacks. Now, if the attack hits you and blasts you up in the air, that isn't an insta kill. It's the the track. It's the trail it leaves. Running through that trail is an insta kill. And this wall gate gives you some protection from it. So what we're waiting for is we're just trying to make sure it's just us and the boss. I don't want to go out there when there's other ads that I've really got to deal with. And. Uh, and, and when that get, when it gets to that stage, like it is now, you're going to run to the boss. I decided just to take this ad out now. You're going to run to the boss, jump over him, and attack him from behind. So that you're not having to deal with those void uh, trails. More ads are coming in, so we're straight back here. This is a repeatable strategy. You can come here and just deal with this boss with supers. If you... If, Heavy, whatever it is you're, you're using. My Controverse obviously helps me constantly get grenades back. If I'm hitting enough enemies, I'll get my grenades back. It's not just constantly getting grenades back. The more enemies you hit with it and the more uh, damage over time you do with the grenade, seems like it speeds up the recharge. So there's a lot of ads still here. I want to try and clear them so I can go at the boss. because You want to get the boss gone as fast as you can. There's, we've, got, we've finally got a war mine cell. I'm just looking to see what ads are still up. Now just... Snipe that war mine cell which took that legionary out. And again, we'll go for the boss. We'll go over to him, get him to do it. He's, if, if he does his stomp, block it. If he does his stomp and you block it, you do not take any damage from it. And you can... If he does... If he does blast you away, you can use your sword to bring you back and then just make your way back over here. You've seen the damage there. A couple of hits from the Cabal and I'm in trouble, which is why we kind of use this as our base. And just... He actually shot my grenade. So I managed to luckily get some... Get some hits on him. With the grenade, which get e even sometimes just getting light, light, uh, light numbers it doesn't have to be constant numbers. Sometimes just light numbers is enough to give you your grenade back. So now we've sent him up into his cocoon phase. So our next phase is to capture all three plates. This is where the sword's going to come in handy. But I, I, I can't, I can't stress strongly enough how unprepared I was for how aggressive these ads were. Now, I, I I literally was thinking about doing this before, how I'd done it before. Uh, I almost get in some big trouble here if I remember rightly trying to get this. I don't think I get it in the end. No, nope, because it was covered by an, 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 an ad. I don't remember the ads being this kind of on it. Just throw that into the center and then just burn some sword ammo. I felt as if I was constantly fighting ads. 
It was, it was, it was ridiculous. Uh, I don't remember it being this bad. But, c'est la vie. The idea is to get yourself into a position where it's just you and maybe the the wave with the dogs. It's, it's you and the the void shielded flamethrowers. If you can take the majority of the dogs down and just leave those flamethrowers up, that is enough. So we're just gonna throw this down there. And if push comes to shove, sword, charge shot will go through. And you see there all the ads. Just so many of them that I actually burnt my super. Now I've captured this plate at this time, and I can tell you this categorically. I did not know I'd captured that plate. That's why I went back onto it. So now it's about enticing the ads. Try to clear enough ads that you can capture a plate. Uh, the biggest problem for you here is going to be the the, the the gladiators. They are super super uh, aggressive and they do so much damage so as you can see here I'm still standing on this plate I'm trying to wait for the ads to come out now I've realized I'm trying to wait for the ads to come out so if I break this wall of mind as you can see I, I took out a few enemies I could have went down and cap been halfway through capturing our plate to be fair but now we've got these guys so I'm gonna get on this plate and use the laments charge shot which you might have noticed you might not have I wasn't getting any health back on my charge shots and just put that grenade down and we'll just go into them with charge shots which give me health back there just so weird and I can't keep saying that I've said it I don't know how many times but uh, it was a shame because the rum at some points looked like it could be really good and then so many things happened but I decided to put it up simply because I wasn't gonna waste waste this rum because of errors that were out of my control so again as you can see I'm just getting what normally happens here is you've got to clear the ads before you get the next wave of ads and I felt like I was getting overlapping waves of ads so this time what I'm gonna what I'm trying to do I'm leaving these ads up and I'm just trying to dodge their their, their attacks not let anything on to the the not let anything on to the, the plate. I've not got a lot of heavy left. And as you can see, I had to get off because I was overlapping waves of ads. I did. I was supposed to go back and have a look at my, my old runs just to see if this happened before. But I don't remember it being this, these, them being this kind of aggressive. So they probably changed something. So I'm going to try it again and capture this plate. Just throw a grenade over there. And I had to go again because I, again, I've still, and, and, and this is unfortunate. I haven't really figured out how to repeatably, or at this point, I, I'm not saying I haven't. Uh, when I was doing this, I, I couldn't remember. That's what I mean. I couldn't remember how to repeatably do this. And then every, as I say, the thing I've just said about try and leave just yourself and the void shielded and cinders up. That came to me because I was like, is that not what I used to do before? Try and leave a set of ads up or, or the heavy duty ads from one wave. And But it didn't work here. So, and as you can see, I am now peppered with ads. It's just ad city. So I don't know if they've changed anything. But I decided to use my super. I'm not going to moan about it anymore. Uh, and now I'm just, I've got quite a bit of am ammunition, I'm still going from side to side, uh, trying to draw ads with me. I hope your run isn't as chaotic as this, because I, again, I've done everything that I have always done on this strike, and it seemed to work completely differently. I was being literally hunted during this plate section. Now, the last time I got to the boss, I, I, I normally don't draw the curtain back too far on previous runs or other runs but I failed the the first the first time I got to the boss I failed because I didn't remember uh, a that the void shots from the from the boss was so aggressive but it was actually if I, if I was gonna if I was gonna lay any any kind of blame if you like at anybody's feet or a reason 
it was I don't remember the I don't remember the gladiators being so so uh so aggressive. So now and what happened in the previous run is I got to the exact same place I am now. This time as you can see I was ready for these guys. Uh charge shots taken down. What happened last time was they, they chased me up here and I sorted right through the boss's attack. And it, it killed me. Insta killed me. Now that we've took all the plates, my the only other suggestion, I wanted to wait until all the plates had been taken. My only other suggestion for dealing with this successfully, my only other suggestion is try and take the plates. Don't try and take the plates when the gladiators are up. Try and take the plates when the incendiaries and the dogs are up because they're a lot easier to control on the plates. So that's, that is the only piece of advice I can give about these plates apart from stay mobile. You have to stay mobile and the minute you feel overawed, get off the plate. But if you're in here with a couple of people, it, 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 it shouldn't be a problem because they won't all come to the same place. If you're solo, they've only got one person to focus on. Now, there are there are other weapons you could use, I, I suppose. As I say, my, my primary my energy were made, the decisions were made uh, by me. Uh, the decisions were made to get me to the boss. That was what they, they were for. The sword was to control the plates. That was what the sword was for. It wasn't really, and you can see, because because of passive guard. Passive guard won't save you. See there, normally, because it was the right-hand side of the wall, it won't come through here. But it came right up the side, so you have to be careful. So, yeah, I, the sword was to, was to control the adds on the plates. There, there's other weapons you could go with. Uh, the sniper's really good for barriers. It's just so good. Uh, and... The hand cannon, maybe if I'd have went with more uh, minor, minor spec, maybe that would have been better. So, I'm, as you can see there, I'm just throwing an over. Put a grenade on to start with. Now, the plan here again is I don't plan on going out there too often because you can see how many ads they're going to be in the center. But look at that. Look at the numbers. Your grenade will do an absolute heap of work. Right? I'm just using my sniper because there's no barriers now, so I'm using my sniper. Again, I, I, I went with the Adored for Vorpal. You could go with, uh, I can't remember the name of the 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 new Void one they've brought out. That would be much better. Oh, just my, my impression of playing Crucible these days. So, I'm just literally just going to be, for the next couple of minutes... Dropping grenades on the boss, and this, I mean, it's time-consuming. I won't, I won't deny that. The, the, this is very time-consuming, but it's very safe. And at the end of the day, when you've racked up over 230,000, you don't really have to worry about uh, time. So there's one ad. There was one ad when I came. I've, as you see, I've, I've, I went behind the boss, and then used my sword to get out of there. I, now, you see I went red because I got hit, but passive guard would have saved me all day long there because there were ads there. So, you've got to be within about five meters of an ad within the game for passive guard to really proc. Now, luckily, the boss dodged away, but all the enemies jumped into that grenade, which, as you can see by the charge rate, helps me get it back. So... At times, you can just nip out. You see the boss is... He's pretty, pretty well damaged. So, the, let's just recap on, on, on the main points of this strike. Right? When you're taking down a barrier with a sniper, you need to make sure that you keep... You only put three shots into the barrier, especially if you're waiting for a shield to break, and keep one shield to break him again. So you don't have to reload as he's putting his shield up. Whenever you're moving around the map, make sure you've got your sword out so that passive guard, you're at least giving passive guard the chance to save you. 
If you're using the Adored Sniper, make sure you've got it set to Vorpal Weapon and Triple Tap to try and give you some ammo back, but my, my personal recommendation would be go with a Void Sniper. And in this area here, at the boss, this is your safe zone any time where you do not have to capture a plate. So you come in, you capture the first plate, you come back here. Then you've got to capture the three plates, and after then, you come back here. Now, if you're on a hunter, you might have to change your weapons up slightly. You could go with a Telesto, you could go with a Void Rocket Launcher, a Void Linear Fusion Rifle. There is multiple weapons and, and, and strategies for doing this. I, disc this is my disclaimer, I am not suggesting this is the only way to do it. I'm just showing you guys how i done it and trying to give you guys hints and tips that will help you guys on your runs. So, I'm going to wait until there's a little bit less ads using my grenade and then my Nova will polish them off, no problem. And that's the run guys, it's a very safe way to do the boss, you can see, well, it's a, it's a 35 minute run I, it would have been down to closer to 30 minutes if i hadn't have took all those champions at the at the portal section but 30 minutes relatively safe run very repeatable my palindrome was a bit of a letdown i think i had subsistence and one for all uh, i will be doing this a ton more times this week to try and get my outlaw rampage uh so the next video is coming up this week I will have something a little bit different, a little bit fun. I'm going to have my solo raid boss video. Yes, I did do it. I seen Scrubs video, same as you guys, so I, I emulated it. And we're going to try and get a different version of the presage mission up. So look out for those videos, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you did enjoy, a like would be appreciated. Leave it in the comments if that first barrier champion does teleport for you guys as well. All the support you guys have been giving me over the past couple of weeks it's just been amazing it as i say it motivates me to do more and i we're not going to stop anytime soon thanks a lot guys you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video